Hi everyone, welcome again to a new session of the Python. In this session, I will explain you about constructor in Python. So let's see about agenda of the uh, constructor topic in Python. First, we'll discuss the basic concept of the constructor, types of constructor available in Python. Then, by using example, I will explain you how we will use it in real life scenario and after creating example and seeing the result I will definitely provide the insight of how we can use it in real life programming so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's start with constructor in python so first of all what is constructor constructor is a special kind of method which is used for initializing the instance variable during object creation. Constructor and its type is basically we will cover in further part but let's understand where we can use it and how, why it is required to have a constructor. So constructor is used for initializing the instance member when we create object for a class. So the task of constructor is to initialize or assign the value to the data member for the class when we our object class is created. <coughs> In Python, the init method is used to call the constructor and is always called when object is created. There are two types of constructor available in Python. One is default constructor and second parameterized constructor default constructor is simple constructor which does not accept any arguments its definition has only one argument which is a reference of the instance being constructed so as you can see here we have already created constructor here so for creating a constructor we will need to define or use the keyword def def then this then this is a initializing and after this again this and inside the function type when we are passing any parameter so this will become a parameterized constructor but when we are using just an instance or we can first place as a self we can see that then that is called as default constructor we've already seen in my previous session that is class and their variables instance so you can watch that that session so that you will understand in detail about default constructor in this session i will show you programming part of parameterized constructor so parameterized constructor known as a parameterized constructor because we are passing here some parameters so parameterized construct take its first argument as a reference to the instance being constructed known as self and the rest of the arguments are provided by the programmer so let's see by example how we can create it and use it in real life scenario so as you can see here i have created one class with the name sum provided or added three attributes one is num1 num2 and add so in this program we will add or sum of two numbers which we have declared in an object so let's see how we can call as so for declaring parameterized constructor we have to declare in this way first def and then rest of the c in the below section, as you can see here, I have used your first instance which we have created and num1 and num2 variable which we have created here. But we are passing here as a reference or instance and one and n2. Now, next we will need to declare one function inside this function.
in this function i am going to use here as a show show and same instance which we have declared above cells colon then i am going to use here as a print for displaying number 1 number 2 and sum of two number so printing number 1 is and outside this we have to pass str because we have declared here the string then cells dot num1 same way we can copy and paste it to for the num2 as well so change here to num2 number 2 is now we want to provide the sum of both the numbers so again print and definitely we can copy and paste the above statement sum of both the number is let me give here as a at because we have created one variable here as a add now again we will need to get the data or calculate it so i am here going to declare one more function and get then inside that in initialize cells colon and when we want to print it self dot add equal to because we are going to add both the number so self dot num1 plus self dot num2 now let's create one object here in that object we are going to provide the value so i am going to provide here as a object name one and in that object i am going to provide or call the class itself so my class name is sum sum and inside that i'm going to provide here as a value 100 and 700 you can take it any value because we need to add this let's call in this statement so first we we'll have to add this so object 1 dot get calling first function and second for this is for the performing addition and second we want to show the result then object one dot show so this we will use it for the addition because we have performed logic here and this i am going to print it here so this we have created object of the class this will invoke our parameterized constructor which we have created here so because of that we are going to use this so let's run this and see the result now you can see here first value you have got number 1 is 
and second value we have got 1700 and when we do the addition of both the numbers or sum of both the numbers that is going to provide us a 2200. So by this way we can see that the parameterized constructor we have successfully created. So let's recap this. We have started with Python constructor and their basic concept. We had a look on default constructor and parameterized constructor. I have already covered default constructor in my previous session. Because of that, I did not touch it here. And parameterized constructor, this is the example of this. We had a look on each and every concept. So by this way, we have successfully achieved creating constructor in Python. So if we want to call at any point of time constructor, definitely we can use this type of example. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.